What's up, guys? Welcome back. We're going to go for 2050. I have a few minutes here before dinner, so I'm going to play a few quick games. Let's go ahead and jump in. Here we go. We're black. I guess we'll stick with the King's Indian. Ah, uh, London. That's okay. Still do the King's Indian. Feels like I'm playing a bullet game here. He goes immediately to trade off the bishop, which is fine. That's an option. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's play knight c6. So we're going to put some pressure on the pawn here. Okay, castles. So e5, I'm thinking about playing. Takes, takes. Big trade. That should be fine. Let's go ahead and do that. And since they've castled queenside, white probably wants to try to attack me. I'm going to have to be prepared to defend a little bit here. Of course, we can try to counterattack. But um, we'll see whose attack is going to be faster. Now, if queens get traded, it's not going to be... Uh, there's not going to be too much attacking going on. So I could take with the knight. I don't know. Then my knight gets kicked around. This way, the queen could move somewhere, and I have to move my queen. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure which way to do this here. We'll take with the pawn. I can't see chat for some reason. Something is not working with the stream, it looks like. Why can I not see the chat? Um, there it is. Okay. Nobody's typing. All right. Fair enough. That was weird. That was weird. Okay. Um... Let's just leave it. If white wants to trade, they can trade. That's fine. Hey, Ben. All right, so we got to move the queen. Um, let's go queen e7. To get away from the rook. H4, not really surprised. Uh... So I can play h6 to kick the queen away. I can just develop quickly here, although f3 looks like I'm going to waste a move. I can just go to e6. I do need to think through what happens on h h5, so maybe it makes sense to play h5 myself. I could even kick the queen away first and then play h5. I don't know if that's... Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Because I want to gain a tempo here, force the queen to retreat, and then I'll play h5 to slow down white's attack. And the reason it slows down the attack is because after g4, I'm just taking that. And so white's going to have to really try to prepare that. But I have a lot of pieces uh, defending that square. So Also, knight h5, trying to jump in here. Not sure if I really need to do that. I think I'm still probably going to play h5. Yeah, let's go ahead. We're just trying to slow down the attack here. And probably going to bring the bishop out and bring the rook over. And we'll go from there. Okay, f3. Um, pretty normal stuff. I'm thinking bishop e6 looks like a good place for my bishop or else is it going to go but here it's controlling d5 eyeing this a2 pawn okay so which rook to to bring to the d file is the question which rook 
I'm going to use this one only because, um, I don't know, I might still at some point in the future use these pawns. And so it seems like maybe this rook could be more useful over here. Really, both rooks could have been moved there. It's not a big deal. Okay, so the queen retreats. He's probably trying to set up to play g4 at some point, but again, I have so many pieces that are controlling that square. I think I still have some time. I'm going to go ahead and trade the rook and just bring this one over because now I get control of the uh, file. Okay. So I'm looking for ways to infiltrate. Um, that's a nice square for the knight, so I might just move it there. And just let it kind of just sit in the center. I think I do like that. Let's go ahead and bring it in. Okay. And now I'm wondering, do we bring the queen over to the queen side? Do we try to play b5 at some point here to put pressure on the knight like that? Uh, this move doesn't immediately threaten anything. That's the only problem with that one. No immediate threat tied to it. B5 would be a pawn sacrifice. Actually, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't because... Oh, yes, it would because that would be defended. It would. So if I want to play it slow, I could do something like this. Hmm. I mean, we can go like this, and then we start to have threats. It's still not that easy, but it, it's something. Let's go ahead and bring the queen over. We can also do a rook lift if we want. But I'm probably going to just put the queen here and play b5. Probably what I'm going to do. So b5, b4, and now I have some actual real threats that white has to deal with. A little bit slow, but I, I didn't see anything else. So that's what we're going for. F4. Okay. The so white's trying to open up my king, which makes sense. But in doing so, they have just given me this really nice square for my pieces. So knight to g4 immediately looks like a good move. And I'm going to play it. My knight wasn't really doing too much, but now it's on a pretty nice outpost. Because no pawns can chase it away. So that's a very good square. Also defends here. If I need to recapture, I can take back with either of these pieces, really. And I think b5, b4 is still a valid plan here. If he takes, I'm not really concerned if I get this move in. So let's go ahead. Here we go. And now we have a real attack. Now we have a real attack. This rook is not doing anything. This knight is very poorly placed. Look at my knights, at my bishop. You can just see how when all the pieces are on better squares, uh, you're just able to do more, right? What is, I mean, white's pieces are not, all, okay. He's gonna allow this, so what is white's plan after this move, I'm wondering. Knight to d5? Maybe that's what it is, but still. Hmm. All right, well, I'm still going to go here. Knight to d5, I have a couple of options. Number one is just the pawn. Just the pawn to make it leave. Uh, and where's the knight going to go? Well, then I'm coming in here. That looks really good. So c6 looks very powerful. I think let's go ahead, chase the knight away, and then we have the follow-up thread here. c3. Really? So if I tag, he wants to probably just re retreat, and then he's defending. But I don't have to do that. I can just take. Yes, I lose this, but then I take here with the double attack. Let's do that. 
I'm going to take my knight. And I'm going to take here. I think white's in trouble. I think white is in big trouble. Thanks, Steven. I appreciate that. Um, if you want, you can send me an email and I'll, I'll respond uh, to the email, maybe with some follow-up questions. Trustvibesyt at gmail.com. So I guess White's realizing the problem now and trying to find a way out of it. Right, that's what we expected, and here we go. How does white deal with both of these? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. All right, saves the bishop, allows this the check. So now it's a question of how do we do it? Probably the queen. Probably the rook. But remember. When you're chasing a king like this, you don't want to let it escape. So if I go check, it's going to run here. Check. It's going to run here. It's going to get away. So I think a more prudent move would be here right away. Yes, we lose the knight, but it doesn't matter. We have check. King is stuck. Only move. We take it and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. White's position's falling apart. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Remember, when you're chasing the king, you can't you can't let it escape to the other side of the board, or it's it's gonna be hard to checkmate it. So that's why we had to do this. All right, let's go check. And I could even. Check, king goes here. Check, king, is am I missing like a checkmate or something? Let's see, uh, check. King has to go here. Check, no, it looks like it might be escaping. So I probably do need to just take this. And we have checkmate. Oh, that's checkmate. All right, cool. Good game to our opponent. Game review. Um, pretty well played game. Take a quick look. Eval bar. Here we go. Okay. Where was the major mistake at? Yeah, so that was one, allowing my knight to jump in. That was super nice for my knight. Engine didn't like, that was the big blunder, allowing b4. So what was white supposed to do to keep the equal game? I'm curious. f5. What would I have done against this move? Probably just taken it. And probably just taken it again. And then knight to e3. Ah, interesting. And then what happens? This is just an equal position. Okay, interesting. Hmm. All right. New game. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, interesting move. Okay, I don't really want to play this because they're going to be more familiar with that than I am. So what I'm going to do is play knight c3 and try to transpose into something else. Yeah, even this is fine. 
Um, we'll just play Knight here. Maybe we... Ooh, you know what? They play Knight C6. We can play the Halloween Gambit. Come on. Please, 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 please. Halloween Gambit? Halloween Gambit time? I'm so excited. So excited right now. Come on. BNC, XYZ. You know you want to play Knight C6. You know you want to. They're not going to do it. They're thinking too long to play that move. They're going to do something weird like D6 or there should be 7 or I don't know what they're going to play. D5. What happened? What happened? What's going on? I knew it. I knew it. D6. Come on. What a sad day. What a sad day. What a sad, sad day. He's probably watching. <laughs> Maybe he is. Okay. I'm going to take with the queen. Yes, I can get attacked, but I'm going to be willing to go here and trade this off if I have to. We're going to play rookie one. Uh, yep, let's go ahead. That's where I want my rook. And then I'm going to think about the bishop. Bishop g5 is probably okay. I don't have to go there. I could also do this. That might be interesting. Let's see what happens. We'll, we'll create a little uh, queen and bishop. Ah, uh, he's going to try to shut me down immediately. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still going to go here, I think. And can I play e5? I guess I can't. Can I? What is that? e5? What is that? So he wants to go here and win my bishop if I move the knight. Like, that's the idea. But I could move the knight here, and you can't play bishop f. I mean, you could still play it, but that's a... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Checkmate is the threat. And if you go bishop f6, now I have the capture. Okay, sure, sure. This knight can't move, so I kind of like that. How do I take advantage? I mean, g4 seems a bit, seems a bit much. Um... I could get rid of that bishop now and then play e5, but what's going to happen after this? Is that a good position for me? That might be a pretty good position for me. Let's try that. I mean, yes, they might give up the bishop for the knight here, but I am thinking about trying to make this work. So, that's what I'm focusing on here. Oh, I could take it with the knight, too. I just realized. Is that better? Hmm. Mm hmm. Take with the knight. We hit the bishop. There's no more trade. Then we have a discovered... Wow. What? No, you can't do that, can you? Can you do that? Ooh, I think I have a tactic. I think I have a tactic. I take this, threatens checkmate. So any capture of my rook leads to the game being over. If he tries to take the queen, I'm going to throw in the trade and I'm coming out up a piece. Should just do it. That, I think that just wins the game. I think that just wins the game. Very nice. Rook sacrifice for the win. See that? In between move. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How many games in a row can I make a rook sacrifice? All right, so now we're just up a piece, and as long as I don't blunder something, it should be a very easy win. It should be a very easy win. I'm going to offer a trade here, because it simplifies things for me. He doesn't want it. Okay.
Ooh, I see a little tactic. I can... Oh, no, I can't. I was going to say I could take that, but I can't because of this. But I can go check first and then take it if I want. Uh, but then I'm putting my pieces in line. I'll have to go bishop here. I guess it's okay. So he can't take me because of the back rank checkmate. And I have a follow-up to get out of this jam here of bishop c5 and b4 defends the bishop. And everything's defended. Yeah, everything's defended. Well, that's totally fine. We can also just invade with our rook if we want. Let me go ahead and play f3. I don't want to get back rank mated, so we'll just fix that problem. And and uh, bring the king up. Why not? How can I force? Let me go ahead and play this move, actually. I'm going to try to use these pawns while I, while I can. Let's go here. Okay, let's keep pushing. And probably we can bring the rook down and, and win this pawn is an easy thing to do, like this. The king is fine. I can always just run over here if I need to. Let's go ahead, grab this guy. And then we'll have two pawns that we can very easily push down the board. Hey, Herbert. Glad you could make it. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's a fork. Thank you very much. And good game to our opponent. All right, cool. Game review. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, 95. All right. All right. That's very nice. Let's go ahead. How did we do that? Didn't get a chance to play the Halloween game. It's so sad. But we did this. We did this. Okay. 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 B3, good move. Good move. Knight D5, good move. Okay. Nice. 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 And we saw it. All right. Yeah, so... I mean, I guess we didn't make any mistakes. Even here at the end, we played it pretty well to get the 95, it looks like. Cool. 24 likes. 370 people are watching the stream and 24 people hit the like button. That's not a very good ratio. For a rook sacrifice that wins the game like that, you got to I mean you got to got to give me something, guys. Sicilian. It should be 5. Okay, we're going to go ahead and trade and we're going to castle. And we're going to play d4, I believe. It does allow the uh, the pawn to be captured, but I like getting the space. I don't know if this is the right move, but we're going to just play it anyway. Queen takes d4. We can do a queen trade. I'm totally fine going into an endgame here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's attack. Do we want to attack the pawn? F6. We'll go ahead and attack the pawn. We'll see how black... Okay, he's going to play F6. But it takes away knight F6. And now what I'm going to do... Develop here. Get control of this diagonal. Takes away an option from black. And I'm, I'm thinking about... Trying to clamp down these pawns. So if you've never seen this trick before... A5. This pawn now stops both of these pawns. Very nice positional idea. And if I plant my bishop here, guess what? It also, sorry, it also takes away this square, so the rook can never land there. So lots of good ideas here. The knight can jump in like this as well. So let's just go ahead. Knight to c3. Maybe the knight's going to jump into these squares. And do I want to go there now? 
is the question. Let me go ahead and put a rook here first. And if black tries to fight me for the file, then I will go bishop to b6, and I'll, I'll get control of their it. Okay, they go there. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and relocate the knight. So now we have options for the knight or the bishop, depending on what we need. To jump in here, also c5. Yeah, so he's trying to just trade some rooks. So here I could probably play bishop b6. And now he could trade one, but you can't bring the other rook there. And I have total control over the file, right? So that's a pretty that's a pretty good deal for me. See that? And now I'm the one who has constantly has all these threats. And black's rook is just sitting over here wondering what to do. So, and that happened because I pushed this pawn up, right? S stopped these guys from moving. And really took advantage of these weak dark squares. So whenever you look at the board, you want to ask yourself, like, where are there some weak squares that I could potentially take advantage of? And then you have to think through the follow-up. How do I take advantage of those? So I think that was a pretty good uh, learning opportunity. Okay. Now where's the knight going to go? I don't really want to allow the bishops to come in here. But I'm thinking about playing b3. Because I want to go here, but then I, I run into the check, which makes me look silly. So let's play b3. I want to play king f1 and then g3 to kick the knight out, probably. I guess I could play g3 first, and if he goes check, the knight just gets trapped. So now I am threatening this, I guess. Back here, not super concerned with that. Let's go ahead and play g3. And I do get, create some weaknesses here, but I think I'm going to have time to deal with that by moving my king up. Like, for example, knight goes back, I can play king here, h3, and I, then I'm I'm good. Also, the fact that there are no queens on the board, it's much easier to play a move like this. If the queens were still on the board, I'd have to be really careful, right? Because I could checkmate it easily. All right, so let's go ahead, and now we've gained control. We, we're using our king to control these light squares. Okay, so he's trying to still get control of the file, file a different way. Probably makes sense. It's probably a decent idea. Uh, so I can jump here. Probably going to result in a trade, which I don't really want to do that because I don't want to draw. I want to try to win. So to increase my winning chances, I think I'm going to not make that trade. Let's play h4. Maybe we can kick the knight back even further and get some more pawns clamped down. I have a lot of space. Mm-hmm, he just moves it right away. Okay. This knight looks terrible to me. So what I need to do is figure out how to get it to a better place. So if I could put this knight anywhere on the board that I want, where would I put it? Here, maybe? So I could do this. Where else would I put it? I don't really know. Here, I can't really get there. Here, maybe here, but that's controlled. Mm, okay, so this seems like the best route for that knight. I guess I could try to do this as well, eventually, when this knight moves, maybe, but uh, I think probably this. It's just not really doing anything right now, so let's go ahead and move it. Go ahead and move it. Sometimes knights find themselves in that situation where there's pawns just controlling all the squares that the knight wants to go to, right? And so you need to just relocate it if that happens. Okay, he's going to try to take my bishop, which... I don't know if I want to allow that. Bishops against the knights. It might be difficult. Now, it's sort of a locked up position a little bit, so I could get away with that. But I'm what I'm worried about is this move. That's what I'm worried about. Hey, welcome to Grandmasters in Training. Shameless plug. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I necessarily want to allow that. Although, hmm, I could take this way. I wonder if we can make use of that pawn somehow by undermining this guy. That might actually be an idea. Okay. All right, let's try. Let's yeah, let's try that. So we'll go knight here. And now that I'm controlling this, I could even take with the knight too. Yeah, I actually have two options here: pawn or knight. I'm thinking we take with the knight. We jump in here, and now we have pressure on this guy. And if we get that, then we have a pawn. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try it. That looks pretty promising, actually. So we're going to go here. 
and we're going to jump the knight in. The rook is ready to go. And I'm basically saying, even though, generally speaking, bishops are better than, than knights like this, in this particular position, the bishops don't have a, a whole lot of diagonals to work with. But here we go. Building the pressure. It is defended currently, but I'm going to be keeping an eye on this as I figure out how to maneuver around. Okay, so he decides to trade off the bishop. Probably a wise decision, although my knight was just sitting over here anyway. Add my actual rating on the screen. That's a good idea. Should do that. Okay, hold on. Hold on. That looks like a blunder. It looks like we take, and then we come down and get the pawn. Just like I mentioned. I don't even need to really think through that. Here we go. Or we get the rook. Either way. <laughs> a weird move. Okay. Game review. Good game to our opponent. 2049. We're one point away from the 2050. <laughs> 90, 81. Okay. Let's go ahead. Didn't like d4. Okay. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah, I can see why that wasn't really great. Wow, as soon as we recaptured there after bishop f8, we were just way ahead. So what did black need to play here? h5? What? And I could still go there. Bishop c8. What was the significance of h5? Like, what? why was it such a good position for me? Oh, the eval bar is just confused. Okay, I see. Eval bar is confused. If they would have went here, check, probably wouldn't have traded. Just say, I, I don't know, go back here. They can bring their king. Yeah, it still would have been an interesting game from this position. It would have been a very interesting game. But anyway, let's go ahead. Next game. And... 2000. If we win, we will be over 2050. Let's go ahead. Uh -huh. We're going to do the Cozio like I like to play against Bishop b5. Why do I do this? Takes them out of their comfort zone. Most players have studied some theory here. And by playing this move, they're probably going to... Probably none of their theory applies anymore. That's the idea. Update the wins. How many games did we play? Was it two games? Three games? Can't remember. Somebody can tell me. All right. He castles. That's a pretty good move. We're going to go knight g6. This is, this is what you do. You bring the knight over here. And usually, yep, you can take this one. And you can attack it. Probably going to take, and we're going to attack it. And you can trade if you want. I mean, I guess white doesn't have to take it, but what else are they going to play? I don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. We're going to attack it. Knight to f5, interesting move. It sort of makes sense, but I think I just castle, and I don't believe it's too much of an issue for me. I guess I could also play queen f6, but I, no, I'm going to go ahead and castle. I wanted to castle anyway, so it seems like a logical move. And now what I'm thinking about is d5. Usually when the knight lands there, you want to play d5 because you're un undermining the pawn. Also putting pressure on the knight. Maybe d6 too, but. We got a new member. I didn't update the member thing. Let me do that. Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. I clicked on a PGN line there and it 
moved everything. <laughs> okay. Ever pre-moved and they don't do what she thought? Oh yeah, yeah, it's happened. Not too often, but it it has happened. You join the stream when I'm one point away from 2050. <laughs> That's funny. You don't think D5 is good here? I think D5, if it was my turn, I would probably play D5. Because if the queen takes, I'm going to take, take, take. Even if I lose this, the, what's going to happen is I'm going to have one, two, three pieces out. Even if I lose a pawn or something, and white's pieces are all going to be sitting on the back. So it's it's sort of like a gambit, but very aggressive way to get my pieces out. D6 could also be probably pretty good too. But, but I'm going to wait and see what white does and react. Hey, Kip. Good to see you again. Plans to become an IM someday? Not right now. We'll see what happens. We've got our opponent thinking. We're ahead on time by almost three minutes. This is unheard of. This is I don't think this has ever happened before on a chess vibe stream. I don't think it's ever happened. His rice cooker's broken. <laughs> How did I get into chess? Um, my dad used to play on a little uh, electronic set, you know, those that has like lights to light up where the pieces move to. And I, when I was like two, I would sit on his lap and just watch him play. And so he started teaching me and I could set up the board pretty early. And then by the time I was four, I knew how to play. So we would play. And then when I was seven, I beat him, and he and he was like decent. He he wasn't like he didn't play in tournaments or anything, but he was, you know, probably like I don't know, thousand, eleven hundred rated, maybe something like that. And I beat him at one game, and so he's like, "Oh, okay." And so took me to his high school chess club, and I was beating everybody at the chess club, uh, the high school chess club. So then we started going to tournaments, and the rest is history, as they say. Queen's Gambit Netflix show. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll here. Did you get into chess? Uh, let me do this. Okay. How did you get into chess? Was it from the Queen's Gambit on Netflix? Was it from a relative? Was it you learned on your own? Uh, what's a fourth option? Somebody give me a fourth option. Queen's Gambit, a relative taught you, you learned on your own. What's a fourth option that I didn't uh, put there? Okay, well, relative could be relative or friend. So that's the same. School. Okay, we'll do school. All right, you learned at school. All right, here we go. Let's see. How did everybody get into chess? Let's see. Wow, all that, and he's just going to resign. That's Nope, plays queen h5 after f five minutes. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to take a moment to see what the result of the poll is. 60% a relative or a friend. And 33% learned on your own. That's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Right. He was checking stockfish for sure. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll see if this is like the killer move here. Maybe so. I mean, maybe there's some tactics here, but I'm still thinking I'm going to play d5. 
still thinking I'm going to play d5. I just want to open it up, put the pressure here, like I already talked about. This move doesn't really change my opinion on that, so here we go. 53% relative of a friend, 37% learned on your own. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Learned on your own. Hmm. Okay, here's another follow-up poll. He's going to take it. All right, so I think we just take with the queen. Now we have a real threat here. We also probably have a tactic here. Oh! I was distracted by the pole. Distracted by the pole. And the fact that I thought this person was like quitting the game. He tricked me, guys. He tricked me. Now I got a piece for a queen and my king's messed up. And the bishop's coming in. Man. Okay. Can we still win? Can we still win? I think we can. I think we can. Look at our pieces. There's got to be some tactics here. Man, we, if we have to flag them, hey, we're going to do it. If we have to flag them, we're going to do it. Viable strategy. It's a viable strategy. Just got to watch out that I don't get mated right here. But I think we can deal with that relatively easily. We can bring the bishop back. We can block it off. So probably going to get the rooks here. My pieces are just so amazing looking that I, f I f have hope here. I have hope. I do have hope. Where's the queen going to go? Here? No, we got the attack. Here. Going to line up probably like this. I need to keep pieces on the board, so I'm going to try to avoid the trade here. So I'm probably going to play here. Ah, but this one, this one. I might sacrifice that just to go for the activity. Maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too. Maybe I do need to save the rooks. He's going to flag again, though, if he's going to spend another three minutes on this move. I don't know what's happening. I really don't know what's happening. Okay, queen h5. All right. Do I save it? Yeah, let's save it. Save the rook. Hopefully we can avoid this trade, but he's, yeah, he's probably just going to do it. No, he's not. Okay. Let's go ahead, line up the rooks. And I don't want to trade, so I need to figure out how do we avoid trades. This one I can't really avoid, but I'll uh, go ahead and do that. Basically, I'm going to try to play as fast as I possibly can. Put some pressure, and maybe they, they blunder something. Pre-move this one. I don't want them to be able to calculate on my time. So, <clears throat> and by the way, this is only a good strategy when you're when you're desperate. I'm desperate because I'm down a queen. Okay, that's why I'm doing this because I'm down the queen. If I wasn't down the queen, it would be a different story. He's coming in here. I got to stop that. I really don't want to trade off all the rooks, though. How do I avoid that? Ah, I'm going to have to do it. So uh, what I was saying is, if, I, if this was like an even game, I would be thinking and trying to play good moves. But I'm, there's no way I'm winning this evenly. So I have to resort to some uh, desperate attempts here. Okay. <laughs> it's a good move. Uh, it's a good move. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do. This is a this is a very serious threat here. 
Let's try this one. Let's try it. Maybe it'll make him think. Maybe it'll make him think a little bit. I don't know. One minute. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. I feel like our opponent's pretty good. I feel like they're pretty good. Got to defend that. We do have the knights, though. You never know. Oh, I got forked. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to play f4. Man, this guy is a strong player. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to work out. I have... I have I'm too low on pieces here. I'm running out of pieces, guys. I'm running out of pieces. Rematch? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I need to check this game. That was weird. That was really weird. It was really weird. Should I rematch? All right, fine. Fine. Let's go. Let's go. But I'm going to be a little bit upset if he wastes my time for five minutes again. I am going to be a little bit upset. That I I'm still going to check that game. Still going to check that game. Yeah, what's going on? Like, what? what's going on? Why the random pauses? Oh, wait, I know what the answer is. Got to turn on the rice cooker. Is that what it is? I mean, it's possible it's just a really strong player who just gets distracted all the time, and that's why they lose games. But I don't know. I still need to look at that other game, though, and see. See if Queen H5 was the top engine move or not. I bet it was. Probably was. Yeah, it was definitely fishy, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they were cheating. They, I mean, I blundered my queen. So, I mean, what can I say? Blunder my queen. Can I play d6, 9 to 5, rookie 1? Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh-huh. Here we go. Going for the king here, folks. We are going for the king. He's going to castle. He's for sure going to castle. Yep, it's okay. We get this pawn at least. I'm going to save our bishop over here. I'm going to take that. I'm going to go here. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. Oh, maybe I should. No, I think this is okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I want to bring the queen over to here so that I can start thinking about this kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe I should have went bishop b3. This would be so much more powerful. That was probably a mistake. I mean, this is this has ideas too, but bishop b3 probably would have been better. For some reason, I was, I was afraid that this was going to happen at some point, but he can't even go there, so I don't know why I didn't do that. Well, it's too late now, so... Let's make the best of what we have. I still could play d4 and unleash everything here. Queen h3 would attack this. 
Knight of five. Yeah, that's a good square for the knight. Mm-hmm. Trying to unleash the bishop. So if I want, I can sacrifice this. But I don't really have a good follow-up, I don't think. After, like, let's just say the rook comes here or something. That's probably not wise. Probably not wise. We should just go back. He's probably going to take this and try to take on d4, but I'm going to throw in the trade, and I think we might be okay in that scenario. <laughs> Don't get rushed by ink. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? It's hard it's hard not it's hard to not get tilted if you're a competitive person, I will say that. What was the second poll gonna be? I forgot. Totally it forgot. It was gonna be Oh, it was it was gonna be for the people who learn chess on their own. It was gonna be did you learn on YouTube or did you learn from a book or something else i think that's what it was going to be yeah i'll do it real fast did you if you learn chess on your own did you learn on youtube uh, from a book or from other so maybe it could be like an other chess site or whatever um oh i should do i you know what i should i should do chess.com youtube chess.com uh, a book and other how about that let's see that should be pretty good Okay, how did you learn? If you learn chess on your own, how did you do it? Yeah, I don't like players like this. I, I mean, even if he's not cheating, it's just weird to, like, sit for so many minutes and then all of a sudden just blitz out really good moves. Like, it's just, it's, it just doesn't feel normal. I don't know. Anyway, um, I didn't want to move there. How did I even do that? I, yeah, that's exactly why I didn't want to move there. I wanted to move here. Man. But he plays it in five seconds. He thinks all that time, then he plays it in five seconds. Like, what's going on? My queen's trapped. I did, that's, yeah. I, I. This is frustrating, guys. I'm really frustrated. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. My queen was trapped. I couldn't do anything. So I lose my queen from a blunder the first game, and I lose it from a mouse slip this game. Awesome. We're going to lose again. We're going the wrong way now. Most of you learned on YouTube. And then chess.com, 20%. All right. We got to try to keep as many pieces on the board as possible. Keep the ranks and files closed if possible. And hope for some kind of a miracle here. I mean, bishops are good, but they're not that good. They're not, they're not a queen's worth good. D5. Yeah, this is like a, this is like a strong player to see that just so quickly. I think this is a strong player. I'm going to come over here. Uh-huh. He's he's very he's very good. He's very good. K 
can't even take this because of the rook comes up and over. Man, isn't that isn't that convenient? All right, fine. Fifty six percent YouTube, twenty one percent. I'm not really threatening anything. I just figured I would move it there. Could play king f1. No, but then I get forked over here. H3 is a move, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's try to hold on to my pawns somehow. Between here, I guess we got to go like this. Just trying to make like a fortress that gonna take a while to break down basically is all I can do at this point. Maybe double up here and then just kind of leave things like that for a while. Maybe I shouldn't pre-move that. Ooh, good thing. Actually, maybe that's still a good move. Maybe that's my only choice. Because if he takes, I can take here. Yeah, I think I have to, actually. But... I don't know what's happening. It looks like I can get away with this, but we'll see. We will see. And I guess I can remove this if I want. I don't think he's really going to take that. He's probably making some dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some rice. He's making some rice. <laughs> he does take. Okay. Interesting. And what is your, your follow-up, friend? 
He didn't calculate a follow-up move? All that time? Two minutes and you didn't calculate a follow-up move? There it is. Wow. That's quite the move, actually. <laughs> that is quite the move, isn't it? Because if I take this, he's going to take here, and then he's going to do this. No, but I, I can go here. Oh, hold on. Check. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, he's going to win if I, if I do that. Nope, 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 nope. Hold everything. I think I'm going to go here. He's going to push, isn't he? Amazing. I mean, come on. Come on. I guess I could take this. Takes, takes. Maybe, Yeah, maybe that's my best thing. Okay, let's do that. Maybe that's the best way to do it. And I just tuck my king in the corner? No. No. If I tuck my king in the corner, he's going to take, take, and he's going to checkmate me. So I have to go here. I have to go here. He's going to go check. I go back. And then what is he going to do? What is he going to do after that? Oh, he's going to go for the rook lift. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I have to stop that or it's game over. I have to. Do I have to play Rook F1? Only move, I think. Uh-huh. Okay, how do we... How do we do this? Trying to save the pawn is what I'm trying to do. I can't do it though. Oh, I have, I have, I have the pawn. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Aha. All right, we got to go check the previous game. I don't care so much about this one. Actually, I do care about one move. I care about one move in this one. I care about one move. You, I think you guys know which move it is. I think you know what it is. 80-80. So that's pretty normal. 80-80. Where did he have the really long think? Let's see. I think it was like here somewhere, wasn't it? Anyway, that was the mouse slip. Okay, that wasn't actually a blunder? What? So Queen H3 was better. But... Knight to G5 was actually playable. I was afraid that F6 was going to happen. Bishop takes F5. Okay, I'm still losing my knight, aren't I? What is happening? What am I missing? I'm winning this position? What is going on? Wow. Yeah, I didn't see any of that, obviously. I mean, this is a winning position for me somehow. As the rook comes down. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's good to know. So my mouse slip wasn't actually a blunder.
Brilliant move. Top engine move. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to accuse him of cheating, but I do want to look at the other game. Hold on. Look at the other game. Uh, where am I what am I trying to do? What am I trying to do? Dun 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 dun. Ninety three accuracy. Okay, there was some some mistakes though. Let's see what they were. This was the game. It's the third engine move. Okay, third move. And he thought for like, what? How many minutes? Five minutes. Yeah, I probably just blundered. I don't know. I mean, I know I blundered, but. Seems like a really good player though. I mean, he's just playing very, very well. I don't know. Whatever. I gotta go eat dinner. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Maybe he was cooking rice. Maybe he was walking his dog. Making a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that was a very that was a very clever move for sure. That wasn't on my radar at all. Little tactic there. Okay. Oh, yeah. What do we... We lost one and we won one? Is that what it is? I don't know. The losses are going up pretty fast. Only talks to members now? Pretty much. Now that we have, like, jillion members, thanks to Barack. No, I, I just see them quicker. They just... It highlights them, so I just read those first. That's what it is. See you guys next time. That was fun. Thank you. Oh, add my actual rating. Yeah. Um, I could probably do that. I don't forget. All right, guys. See ya. Stay sharp, play smart, take care.